Hello everybody and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Diplomacy mod. So now that I have my own kingdom, I need some lords to help me defend it. I found where my veterans were. Uh, they were in Tilbaw Castle. I had five Huskarls, 39 veterans, and 80-something warriors. So I took some of them out, but I'm, I'm leaving 350 troops. And I'm going to make Mattel to my first lord. So, check her skills first. Okay, so she is not missing any points. So, would she be interested in holding a fief? She is a noble, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to give her a Tilbaugh Castle. And now she is Lady Mattel. So I have my first lord. And now I am going to get a cavalry brigade. Go knock the Nords around a bit and possibly take Durkios Castle. And actually, I was, I was gathering my elite troops from Rindyar Castle and... I think that a lion wants to be a lord as well. So I'd like to ask him if he'd be interested in holding a thief in Brindyar Castle. So my relation with Mattel decreased a little bit. So, all right, I have two lords. Now it's time to go have some fun with the Nords. So I ran into Jarl Durgan, and I asked him what he thought about King Ragnar, and he worries about the state of the realm, and I am going to try to convince him to join me. And I would deal with all men fairly. And now, since he wouldn't join me, I'm going to fight him. Uh, I ended up losing a couple companions. I decided to stop paying them the $1,500 four or five times a week. I lost Nizar, Bunduk, um, Clethi, I think, and maybe Amira. Uh, they they just have conflicts with all the other people. And once I turn all of my noble companions into lords, then I'll be able to recruit them again. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, this seems to be over. So I released him, gained five relation, and gained honor. <laughs> he found a very decent cooking pot. So I just ran into my father-in-law, and he has a couple buddies with him. But I have my cavalry army. Doesn't seem like there's anything to worry about. Uh, the castles I... What the... Castles I was thinking about taking, they're guarded pretty well. 
Um, one of them had about 50 Huskarls, the other about 50 veterans. So I need to, I'll probably need to wait till my lords show up. So I think now I'll just play a defensive game and fight in the field. Seven or nine, twenty morale. That's good. Um, I was getting hurt for morale. So killed 135. Did this. Uh, I'm just gonna skip this. I'll see you at the end. Victory again. This is the second round against a couple of Nord boards. Two or three, I believe. He's honorable. I'll let him go. And Jarl Gerlad escaped. No peasant woman. I uh, can't take any Nords because of the morale hit. I think I will take the Baker Guards. I need to start working on my non-Nord melee. Whoops. Yep, so Francis likes Jeremus. Alright. Jarl Haida. So I'm gonna go knock him down. I'm still doing really good. Uh, Swati Nice just destroy. So I'm gonna defeat Jarl Haida and see what happens next. So I'm thinking about it, and I think I'm gonna give Redigir Castle away too. There's no point in me having these castles, they, they cost me more money than they're worth. So I need to figure out which lord to give it to. Um, Ferentis and Jeremus get along. So that means I don't need my experienced Dr. Oxalot. But Behestur causes some problems, so I'm going to give it to him. Double check his skills. And I'm going to give him Rodegear. So Mattel, my relation's only 30, but Alion is 80. I need to keep an eye on her. I took out the, the troops I wanted, so he can have about 500. So that's going to save me money. I don't want to fight the Kurtzit Lancers. I only took crossbowmen out. So I'm probably going to do the same thing to uh, Iruma. I'm going to give it to another one of my companions. Uh, so it's right now it's going to be either Ferentis. I I need to keep Artemenor because he's not a noble. Let's go with Ferentis. He still has a skill point. Um, and he's at least three levels away. You can still level up uh, companions, even if they're lords, by talking to him. I'm going to give him athletics. And I'm going to give him Iruma. So man, my relations with Mattel are going down. Everybody else, they're very high, but with her, it's not. So I still have Dramug Castle I can give away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. He's only one level away from Intelligence Point. Oh well. And he gets Jermug Castle. And he he only likes me in the 40s. Oh well, so now all that is left is Borsha and Lee Zalit. And Artemenor. Uh, I'm basically transitioning to the secondary group. And I'm probably just going to get rid of Artemenor if he doesn't get along with other people. 
So I just lost a whole lot of companions within about a week. Uh, I only have the Shavi and Emira from the new group that I want to transition to keeping. So, uh, pretty disappointing. I have been scouting out castles and my lords don't have enough troops yet. I saw a lion and Mattel running around. They basically have recruits and stuff, so I need to wait for them to build up. But there's about 210 here. Uh, they could possibly be taken, but again, it's it has all Burke on one side, Talrog on another, and looks like... Ooh, I might go for Warcheg. I'll need to go scope it out. So I looked at it. There's 100 troops. I was getting ready to run and grab some Nord uh, melee to take it, but it looks like the Vegas are going to grab it. So that option's down. And the Nords have just offered a peace agreement. So I'm going to accept. And the reason I'm going to do that is because Make sure I'm heading back to Raven. I want to go to war with the Kurjits. I want to take a Hun castle, uh, possibly in the Lyberg. And I want to, since the Kurjits are so easy to take in sieges, I just want to clear this whole area. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get my troops, and we're going to go fighting. So here I am back at Raven. And I'm going to talk to my wife. Uh, she's my chief minister. So I'm going to dispatch an emissary to the Kurgit Khanate. And I'm going to declare war on him. Yes, I wish to make war. And these lords apparently don't like war. <laughs> So I do have to watch out for people in, from Kara, but it's it's isolated. But then again, it has almost 400 troops, so it's going to be hard to take. But I need to. Oh no! Please don't leave. Yeah, another one goes. I thought my persuasion is five. I, I'd think that I'd be able to convince some of them. Are the Kurgis at war with anyone else? Yeah, the Nords and the Serenids. So we're going to take a Hun castle. Oh, another reason I wanted peace with the Nords, I get to use their troops again. I have 69 Nord veterans. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to besiege this uh, siege tower. Ooh, <laughs> so they were coming after me. Ooh. So let's lead soldiers in an assault. Doctors back there. Oh, this place. Need to remember to stay away from them so I don't hit my own troops. Ah, the sun. Ouch. There's the archer. Shoot at me. Almost 
terrible aiming. So I got a lot of their archers. Ah, here they come. They're getting in my face. Nice shot. So this battle looks like it's going to take a while and be kind of boring, so I'm probably going to cut the video here and we'll come back after. So the battle took a little bit of time. Um, had 5 killed, 30 wounded. It's their 128. So who can I take? I'll take the Mamluks. Master Archer. And the Footman. Uh, 10 more Huskarls. That's good. And I only have the one Doctor. And Porsche is my Pathfinder. So until I get, find Jeremus or Deshavi, I'm not going to give this castle away. Uh, assuming I can hold on to it. So I'm going to defer appointment of a lord. Uh, I'm going to plunder it and share the spoils equally between the vassals. And by deferring Assigning the castle, uh, get a small garrison automatically. But right, let's see who's here. So, 300, 400, 600 troops. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried. Uh, but I've been checking the time, and this seems like a good place to end it. I'm going to level up Emera, and next time we'll defend this castle. So I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Mountain Blade Warband.